All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super here, and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Obviously, today was the big day. The big official Peacemaker gameplay reveal trailer. And boy, I gotta say, man, he looked very, very interesting. And it wasn't only his gameplay reveal. It was Janet Cage's gameplay reveal. So, we're here to break it down. We're gonna go in slow motion. We're gonna try to check out every bit of detail about this trailer when it comes to the actual gameplay portion so here we go make sure you guys leave a like rating on the video if you're excited to play as peacemaker i know i am after watching this gameplay trailer oh give him the air hump this is no time to smile. Hell yeah, it is. Fight a fire god is coming. Don't worry, we're not gonna be watching the whole trailer and then going back. We're like gonna start pausing it. I'm just letting it rock right now at the start. I like the music too. <clears throat> Janet Cage, I will sneak into her dressing room just so I could get a personal, personal autograph. All right, here we go. Let's start it off here. I have the uh, the button right here to pause at any time that I want. That's obviously a combo string right there. Maybe some sort of like forward three one, forward three two, something like that. Looks like a pretty simple um, combo string. Did he use a meter burn on the guns? Yep, meter burn on the guns equals three bullets. And then whenever he does a meter burn, it's just one bullet. So this is interesting right here. It looks like he's doing a roll, right? It looks like he's doing an overhead roll like Garrus. But instead, it's actually, a, I guess it's a move where he calls out Eagly, I think is his name. Like I said, I'm not familiar with Peacemaker Show, so I have no idea any of the, these references. But Eagly, he calls him out, boom. So this is interesting right here. Something I, I, I noticed in the trailer because um if you hit by get hit by three bullets from his gun the last but if you're in the air it actually restands you so it looks like if you're on the ground already it allows you to continue the combo while the opponent's falling down you could continue your combo afterwards that's super interesting so it's a combo extender if you're on the ground i think if you're in the air maybe it'll be too late i'm not sure um or maybe the the properties work differently or if you hit somebody in there with three bullets you're still going to be able to continue your combo on the ground because obviously you know you're able to continue your combo right here after the three shots falling down very slowly it reminds me of uh, melina's meter burn sigh the the two bar meter burn sigh she pounces on you and then the opponent's falling down. You can still get a Molina ball roll or anything else. Rem ex exactly like that, pretty much. So he brings out Eagly right there. Obviously a, a meterless launcher. Goes into a combo string. Headbutt. So it seems like that combo string, you could cancel it into your cameo. That doesn't look like it combos, by the way. At least like this portion of it doesn't look like it combos. Um, so... Janet Cage comes in. This is a summon assist right here. Summon assist. She kicks you. And then John Cena goes out of... Uh, wait, what's this move called? Anti-gravity. Anti-gravity, okay. <laughs> it is funny that John Cena's Peacemaker calls out every single move that he does. Like a uh, old school superhero. He calls out the move before he does it. <clears throat> I think that's really funny. Uh, we can probably slow this down here. Half speed. All right. Summons Janet Cage right here. Janet Cage hits Lou while um, Peacemaker's doing his anti-gravity. Goes up. Comes down with a kick. Keep in mind... I guess depending on what button you press, you could come down in different ways. 
from his anti-gravity because he goes up in the air. Sometimes he comes down with a splat. Right here, he comes down with a kick. So I assume different buttons give you different um, attacks, which you could come down with. That move looks like it's going to be really good because it looks like it tracks next to your opponent. So you're going to be having a really good anti-zoning tool. Reminds me of like Martian Manhunter's uh, teleport, the animation at least. All right, so she stays there for a kick for like an extra bounce pop-up after he comes down with the uh, anti-gravity. He goes with this poisonous dart. Uh, maybe that's like a back one too, something like that. Poisonous dart. Sends him to Janet Cage. Janet Cage does an uppercut, right? And I assume you could control Janet's movements or what assist she's going to do while she's in this stance. Because it fits perfectly well with everything that Peacemaker wants to do. I keep wanting to call him John Cena, guys. I'm sorry. Well, let me put this down here just so it won't fall. All right, there you go. Then she, give, she gives him a shadow kick while Peacemaker does his uh, Sonic Boom explosion. I think this is called Sonic Boom, right? Sonic. Yeah, okay. So that move right there is called Sonic Boom. Is it Meter Burn? Wow, it's not even Meter Burn. That's interesting. I wonder if you have to have power up, like... If you have to have your helmet powered up already, because it looks like a really big explosion that maybe takes some setting up. I'm not sure, but I know that the sonic boom creates a giant pop up right there. And then he does the torpedo. I'm just going to call it the Superman. I always call it the Superman. So just that sequence alone, let's let's just watch it in, in fast speed, because I think it's very very important because this is pretty much how his combo structure is going to go. Actually, we could watch it with the uh, sound on this. Eagerly. Understudy. The gravity. Sonic boom. Torpedo. It looks smooth. It looks very, very smooth right there. That combo looks sick. I like it a lot. All right, let's go back to uh, half speed. Find the next gameplay part. Beating up on Molina. All right, so there's another way of calling eagerly right there. So the first one was, all right, you do your like overhead flip. And then eagerly comes out. This is a different one where he jumps over him while he's uh, coming onto the screen. I wonder what the different properties are, or if it's just the same move, it's just different animations for variety. I'm not sure. Because it seemed like the other one was lower, right? Huh, let's just watch it, because this is what we're here for. We're here to break this down. Oh, yeah, so this one, he's actually lower. Eagerly is lower to the ground compared to this one right here, right? Yeah, okay. Interesting. So there's a restand right there that I told you guys. So yes, it seems like his, his meter burn gun is going to work the same way in whatever form, right? As long as you're able to combo your opponent, you're going to be able to combo them because they're like in this falling animation. You're still going to be able to get a combo. The only problem is if the meter burn gun costs two bars of meter. Because Molina's meter burn size, straight size, you could continue combo afterwards, but it costs two bars of meter. If that's the case here, you're never going to see that move. All right, let's go back here real quick. Check out Janet Cage's... Uh, so this is her, one of her ambush assists. And it, I didn't even realize this, but later on in the trailer, you guys are going to see... This move right here is actually a throwback to Mortal Kombat 1 and the ability for Johnny Cage in the corner to do uh, instant air jump and you could combo it. There's not many combos in Mortal Kombat 1, but you could actually combo that multiple times in the corner with Johnny Cage. I didn't know this, but I saw from PND Ketchup and if there's anyone 
who's going to know about this stuff. It's him. He's like the uh, Mortal Kombat historian over here. But that's why her jump punch looks a little awkward because it's a throwback to the original Mortal Kombat 1, Johnny Cage's jump punch. I think that's really cool. When I saw that, I was like, that is cool. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about a little later. <clears throat> Anti-gravity goes up. Comes down with a splash this time instead of a jump kick. All right, so right here, no pic. Is that the no pictures? No, I think <laughs> Janet just got blinded by a flash of lights from the paparazzi. But this right here is another summon assist. Summon Janet Cage. She got hit by a flash of light. Oh, no, wait a minute. <laughs> she got hit by the invisible wall because of Ninja Mime. <laughs> I saw a flash of light from the back, but I think she's running away from the paparazzi and she hits the invisible wall from her ninja mime form. Oh my god, that is fucking brilliant. See, these are little details that you don't catch unless you do like a full breakdown of the video. Look at that. <laughs> at least I don't catch. And because there's an Im imaginary wall right there, it actually protects you from the projectile. So it's a way, it's like anti-projectile. That's going to be a really good anti -air. Look at this. You guys saw that? And it goes into the, um, look at that. That is exactly like Terminator's back one. Literally to the frame. And then it, it goes into the uh, poisonous dart. I don't know if it's a poisonous dart. It just looks like it to me. So that goes, uh, it looks like it's going to be back one. I'm just going to call it right now. It's going to be back one. It goes into multiple combo strings. It goes into the poisonous dart. Then it goes into this knee attack that ends in the choke. Slam, baby. All right, so far I'm liking it even more, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm liking this gameplay even more now that I'm like seeing it in slow motion. Jump in punch. Goes for the combo string. All right, uh, Janet Cage with another summon assist. Nut punch right there. I have a feeling that's going to be uh, have invincibility, so it's going to be a good wake up. So right here, is this meter burn is a question. Meter burn? Yep. So he activates this uh, reflect from his helmet. What does he call it? I guess just reflect. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just a fucking reflect attack. But it seems like it's a meter burn attack because it pretty much activates instantly. So it reflects the opponent's projectile and then it goes into this blue aura right here that he could use to cash out to his sonic boom, which we see him do. I don't know what other power-ups the blue aura gives him. All I know is that he cashes it out. And he, does he meet, is that a meter burn again? It looks like a meter burn, right? I don't see a flash though. Maybe it's just the animation. Yeah, okay, it's a meter burn attack. So he cashes it out here. Boom, sonic boom. Actually, he doesn't even cash it out. He's still glowing blue. Maybe it changes the property of, of his uh, combo gravity. But he uses the meter burn portion of it. He gets a pop-up on the opponent. Air combo. And this is right. This was what I was talking about right here. So Janet Cage is going to do the punch three times in a row. Throwing it back to uh, Johnny Cage combo. He could do him in Mortal Kombat 1. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. That's really cool. All right. So, yeah, this is interesting right here. Uses two bars of meter, which I think is a little... A little much so he does the meter burn version to create a reflect then he maybe it's not I don't know it doesn't look like yeah it's not so he doesn't actually use a meter burn when he um, does the sonic boom because I was I was saying he did the sonic boom in the first clip and it didn't cost a bar of meter so why should it cost a bar of meter here i'm assuming that you don't need a, to use a bar of meter for the sonic boom to pop up i wonder what this blue aura represents really cool right there 
Janet Cage with the boom, boom, boom. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts. This is one of my favorite parts because it's really unique. Uh, it's a, it's something that uh, not every character has. The only character that has something similar is Sindel. She could activate a move. And if she activates it when your cameo's on screen, your opponent's cameo's on screen, it negates that cameo completely for a few seconds. And then if she meter burns it while your cameo, their cameo's on screen, she could actually use your cameo. Um, no one uses it because it's a hard timing. But this is interesting right here. Eagerly comes out <clears throat> and stops Darius in his tracks. There is no way that anyone wants some eagle claws clawing their face, man. Have you seen the size of those claws that eagles have? Are you kidding me? That is not a good day at the office right there for Darius. But it's really cool. And it's interesting because we don't see Peacemaker do any sort of activation. So I'm wondering how he summons eagerly to come in and try to fuck with the opponent's cameo. Maybe it's once around where Eagly just comes out and negates the cameo entirely. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe you have to press something and there's just no animation. But this is a really cool introduction into Mortal Kombat 1 via Peacemaker. Because the only other character that has something similar is Sindel. So... I'm glad that they're implementing more of that to fuck with your opponent's cameo. Does the anti-gravity right there? This time, there is no attack linked to the anti-gravity. He just comes down, goes next to you, and tries to continue his pressure. So that's going to be really tricky, especially with cameos. You're going to be able to do a flip, I mean a, a splat, a jump kick, and just land on your uh, next to your opponent. Obviously, you're going to be able to up-block probably both of them and punish, like Omni-Man's um, overhead slam. But it's going to be interesting. And then it goes into the Fatal Blow, and I think that's it, right? Fatal Blow looks like it's going to be a low. Just based off that, he shoots at your feet. It looks like it's going to be a low to me. And then I'm pretty sure that's it gameplay-wise. Yeah, that's it gameplay-wise. All right. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I kind of want to see like the uh, actual combos in normal speed from here. So that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see the combos in fast speed. Shits take more effort than beating you, Will. I will so enjoy killing you. Yeah, it doesn't look like he uses meter right there. Torpedo. And there it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is going to do it for my breakdown of the Peacemaker gameplay reveal trailer. I'm actually even more excited now breaking things down in slow motion compared to when I just saw it in fast speed. Um, so I can't wait to actually get my hands on Peacemaker. He looks really interesting and he looks like he has everything. He has his gun for the zoning. He has anti-gravity, which you could change up. That's your anti-zoning right there. He has combos. And then he has his, um, you know, a bunch of different gimmicks that he has, including eagerly disabling your cameo uh, from doing something, which is really interesting. I can't wait. I want to I know more. I want to know more. And I want to get my hands on him. So that's it for me. Are you guys excited for Peacemaker? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.